I'm sure most of you guys have already seen all of the Anime Defenders sneak peeks, so today we're going to be taking a look at the final trailer for the game and taking a look at some of the controversial announcements that have been made in the ch Discord. Maybe not everybody thinks they're controversial, but we do, so let's get into the video. And make sure to come back every Tuesday for another Roblox News update. But here is the trailer, let's go ahead and take a quick look at it, it's a minute and a half, but bro, Look Ooh. at these textures and animations. Look okay. at this. Look at how beautiful I this love map the is. Colors. Bro, I'm not a big fan of pink, but oh my god, is this the most beautiful map you've ever seen in your life? I love it. This is so cute. Bro, I'm a huge fan of cherry blossoms. And look at the textures. On these, you can't really see it so much, but look at the bottom left here. Like, you can see that the leaves are there. It's not going to be some old school classic Roblox trees. It's going to be real deal. I love how they ma have matched every single color in the game very well to give to make sure that the room that that entire place gives the same uh the same like feeling I like yeah that. so this is gonna be the final uh lobby area looks like so we got leaderboards you mean the beginning lobby area or the beginning lobby area <laughs> we got challenges and leaderboards play and summon uh, I think we have more so that maybe this is just one side of the of the area So there's the index too so you can see all of the units in the game. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh prime carp Okay, okay, so we got a mythic unit right here a little summon area. Oh Ooh, Okay, that's nice. that's that animation, animation that hold on. Nice. Let's look at that animation one I more like time it. Yo, nice. dude, it looks amazing. I'm so excited, dude. All right. All right. So what else? What else we got? Oh, okay. Recording footage. Of, dude, look at all these enemy units. They look pretty cool. They actually have insane textures. What? Wait, wait. Is what that was Kirito? that? Was that Kirito as a secret Kirito? unit? No, that, okay. No. That's Sung Jing Woo. That makes way more sense. The yeah, pro gamer. Sense. Bro. It's not gonna be me. 92 rerolls and it cost oh 92 trait crystals and it costs five to reroll on the secret unit. Interesting. Okay, that makes sense. Very interesting. So that's gonna be a little expensive. Hopefully, it's not too hard to get rerolls in this game. Oh, there's evolutions. Oh. oh, wait, did that say unique on it? Hold on. Anime Defenders wants to be a little different from Anime Adventures because uh, obviously, you know, Anime Adventures was huge. They had a stellar game. There was a bunch of things to do, but they wanted to take their own turn with things. We don't exactly know what's gonna be the same and what's not gonna be the same, but. The fact that this says it's a unique with a curse finger, it looks like we have some evolution items. They, uh, I won't say they stole the name unique or anything, but uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That obviously that's not the same thing. Okay, so oh, those animations look pretty nice for the placement. You see that, dude? Beautiful. All right, and what is it? A slot machine? Bruh, they got so is that many a units. Money unit? Yeah, that, that must have been a money that was unit. Really cool. Dude, these attacks are insane. The animations for all of this is so beautiful. Oh. Bro. Bro, slow-mo too? That was nice. Damn, like that trading. Okay, so trading is actually going to be one of the controversial things that we're going to be talking about. So we'll get back to this. All right, what else do we got? A bunch of units. You can sell units. You can do rank rewards. There's challenges. We saw that earlier. There's the guilds. Guild? Nice. Bro, drop in with guilds at the very beginning. There's quests that you can do. The leaderboards, we saw that. There's raids at the beginning, too. Oh. And like reward. I wonder what that like reward is. And there's an AFK zone that's hiding down there. Dude, I nice. wonder how many raids. How many raids I do you think? I didn't even notice that AFK zone. <laughs> how many raids do you think are going to drop at the beginning? Probably like five, to be honest. Five different maps? Wow, that that would be huge. If there's five different maps, this game's going to be. No, that would be most likely loaded. for a story. It would be most likely Maybe be five story. master stories. So yeah, we'll like, and then I think, like three or raids. I think like two or three maps are going to be in the raids. I have no idea yet, but we're going to find out soon. We actually have the release date possibly confirmed. We'll talk about that in a second too. So, bro. That, that was really nice. That's that nice. was beautiful. I cannot wait to play that game. So I didn't love how the, how the lovely area looks. No? But it's honestly, it's not bad. Like, Maybe, I, I yeah. like the colors. I just didn't like the layout of things. I hear you. Maybe you like it more once you're in there and you get a little more used to yeah. it. Well, uh, you're going to be playing the game anyway in the maps more than actually on the lobby. So true, true. It doesn't matter. Uh, so they said here on May 19th that the release is within 12 Ooh. days. So that's a specific amount. So let me go ahead and pull up the calendar here. So if we look at the calendar, this is the month of May. They said on the 19th that it releases in 12 days. Well, if I count, 12 days exactly lands 
right here on May 31st, which is a Friday, which makes a ton of sense for them to be dropping the game. I'm not sure if they're going to be dropping the game this day, but they said within 12 days. I don't think they're going to drop it on a Wednesday or Thursday. That seems kind of weird. Yeah, that would be it, <laughs> really weird. It might come this weekend, but I don't think they'd want to do that because Anime Vanguards is supposed to release this weekend. Oh, so true. they would have huge competition against Anime Vanguard since we all know Anime Vanguard is going to be like one of the biggest TD games for anime on Roblox for you know a while. But this game could be competing with the big boys. So I don't know. We're going to see. I think that it might be coming out on 31st. I hope so. We might be wrong, but time will tell. So we were looking around in the announcements to look at all of the things that this game would drop with, and we noticed something that it was a little iffy. Yeah, it might, it, was... be, it might be a little controversial, I don't know. So they put out an announcement that they pinged everyone for, and they said we, um, they, they had a question about trading, how trading will work. And they gave us two options. So option A says all units are tradable, but every unit is level locked to equip. That means that if you have a mythical, you need to be at least level 15 to 20 to be able to equip and use that unit. That's mm -hmm. so that a level 1 player cannot use a mythical unit because that's ridiculous. It's a lot of... You, you know, gotta do some grinding You gotta least. do a little grinding at least. The second option was that only secret units would be tradable at launch. And then they will add limited units in the future. So that would be exactly how Anime Adventures did their trading. And... Very clearly, it looks like option A was the one who was the one that everybody wanted, which is the all units are tradable one. But then they decided down here that they weren't going to do that. So we're going to go over these guidelines for what the trading's going to look like in Anime Defenders. And it's not controversial in the sense that this is bad, because this is really good. This is exactly how Anime Adventures did it, with some twists. It's not exactly the same. But they didn't listen to the community with the poll that they decided to do on their own. Yeah, it's kind of, it just doesn't look good for them to do that at the beginning, to give us the option, and then it's like, you know what, I, Actually, you picked no. the bad option, <laughs> I'm gonna do my thing anyways. Yeah, so at launch, what we're gonna be seeing is that you can't trade at all until you're level 10. So that means you join the game, you're gonna be level 1, there's no trading for you. And they also said that you cannot trade gems directly. They said only in booths. We don't know exactly what that means yet. I'm sure once the game releases, we'll, and we, find out. we'll find out what that means. But no gems getting traded, so you can't just stack up your friends with all the gems in the world. All items have minimum gem prices, so I guess if you're gonna be trading items... That oh. sounds like then it costs gems to trade the items, which that makes sense. That's kind of fair. And all traded units have a level requirement to be equipped. So I think it's the same thing. It's mixing in level of the option A with option B here, where if you get traded a mythical unit, it can only be level 15 to 20. That's what I was going to say, that they ended up doing both of them and be like, I don't, I don't, but care. I don't care what you say. This is where the problem came in. Only shiny and secret units will be tradable. So they, they, they gave us the option. They said, do you want them all or do you want only secrets? And we told them we wanted them all. And they said, okay, bet. Well, only secrets and shinies are going to be tradable. Let me be nice and not shinies. Well, there. the shiny makes sense. So I guess that means that if you have a shiny mythical or a shiny even a rare, maybe, then that would be tradable, which... I, don't know, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not what the people wanted. So that it is what it is. At least all shiny units are gonna have a cosmetic attached to it, yes, and uh, yes. you'll be able you'll be able to trade limited banner units. Yeah, Kanoch is a huge fan of the cosmetics. I don't um, like games that don't give me cosmetics. If you don't give me cosmetics, you don't care enough about your people. Period. She said that. Uh, so it also says you will not be able to trade evolution items and XP food. So I guess that these items that you can trade are going to be a different type of item. It's not an Evo item or an XP item. So there must be other types of items in the game. And you'll mm. also be able to trade star fruits and Robux items. <laughs> star fruits. Star fruit sounds very similar to what they did in Anime Adventure. So yeah. that might be another Evo item. And uh, he says, I believe this allows for the type of training we want in our game while keeping the grind and integrity intact as much as possible by building our economy on shinies initially. Which I understand what they're saying. You know, I, I do think that this is a great way to handle the trading. I just think that they should have maybe not put out the option here if they weren't going to yeah. fully go with it yet. You know, if they weren't sure yet, but it is what it is. This is Anime Defenders. We should literally be seeing it coming out in the next week and a half, and we are extremely excited. So we're going to be getting a lot of releases this next few weeks, so make sure that you tune into the stream so that you can play them with us. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, and stay tuned for all of our future videos and streams so that you don't miss a thing. And until next time, peace! Bye.
also make sure you guys subscribe and like the videos to, to blah, 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 blah. And remember every and rem blah, blah, blah.